The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Vincent Biruta, says there is a growing concern for deniers of the genocide against the Tutsi, especially in Europe and North America. During a virtual appearance before the Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs and Cooperation and Security on topic theme, the role of Rwandan embassies in combating denial of the genocide against the Tutsi, Minister Biruta told legislators that genocide deniers have been using social media and other mediums to negate the genocide against the Tutsi. According to Minister Biruta, the freedom of expression has provided pretext for genocide denial, which has been taken advantage of by those who distort history of the country and to say that there was double genocide in Rwanda. Minister Biruta said that in response to the issue and denial meetings and public lectures were being organized and memorials for the genocide against the Tutsi were being set up in foreign countries. Now, the chairperson of the Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs and Cooperation as well as Security, Bideri John Bones, and the senators in general have indicated that there is a need to set up efforts, rather to step up efforts to address and combat genocide denial, especially in the diaspora. Most importantly, we must continue to reach out to countries that have not yet enshrined in their laws the crime of denying the genocide against the Tutsi. There are few countries that have criminalized genocide denial, but many others are yet to do so. As we know, that requires political will in those countries. The aim of those who deny the genocide is to continue to undermine the unity of Rwandans and to continue their evil plan of exterminating the Rwandan people as they have done in the past which is why they must be opposed. We often say that these countries have extradited genocide suspects to be tried in Rwanda. But when you look at the list of countries that have sent genocide suspects, they are not the ones with majority of these wanted fugitives. Many genocide perpetrators are in African countries. Only a few fugitives have come from African countries compared to those who have been sent from distant countries. About four neighboring countries, that is to say Congo Brazzaville, Gabon, Malawi, have cooperated. I wonder what the role of Africans is. Does AU discuss this issue and put the task to those countries that are hosting the genocide suspects? Now, Minister Biruta, in his responses, said that in uh, response to the issues raised by senators, uh, denial meetings and public lectures are being organized and the memorial uh, for the genocide against the Tutsi are being set up in foreign countries to keep sensitizing people and also to combat genocide denial.